Welcome to your airplane news update. This is the week of September 20th, 2021. This week we've got four stories and the first one is kind of an interesting one. A United 737 aircraft had a tail strike and not in flight. So we'll talk about what happened. Um, we'll talk about an EV tall that is a really interesting design. We'll talk about why they just secured another $10 million to develop this uh, platform. We'll talk about military plane crash in North Texas. And then lastly, we'll talk about Airbus that is also creating an EV EV tall electronic vertical takeoff and landing aircraft called a CD bus. So let's get to it. First thing this week, kind of a freak accident, uh, not something that we see very often, but uh, thankfully nobody was hurt. But a 737-900 from United experienced a tail strike after arriving at the gate. And what looks like happened is that they started taking cargo out of the front of the aircraft. People from the aircraft started to disembark from the front of the aircraft. And then all of a sudden, the airplane became very tail heavy and uh, get lifted up in the air. So uh, people were still on board apparently, nobody was injured, uh, major shift in weight and balance. So uh, I'm not sure why this doesn't happen more often. I'm not not sure what happened to make this happen uh, other than somebody not following the procedure I'm sure but I'm sure this is a learning moment for everyone uh, the flight was coming from LA going to Idaho and uh, I'm sure they're not like I said not gonna do that one again okay next thing is an EV tall from Urban Aeronautics this is a wingless EV tall uh, EV tall electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. We've talked about EV tolls in the past. Uh, we've talked about urban air mobility. This is kind of the next big thing uh, is a giant drone that people can get into. Now this is uh, uh, an interesting concept because this is wingless. The, a lot of the, the drones that we've seen or a lot of the EV tolls that we've seen have propellers and then a wing to create some kind of lift, especially when going in, in forward motion. This is not the case here. Uh, this is a, a car sized uh, aircraft and then it's got a fully enclosed rotor system that uh, basically contains the, uh, the, the the rotor and make it safe so that nobody you know gets hit by a propeller. Uh, it's fueled by hydrogen. It's intended to do air charters and medical services, emergency medical services. Quite frankly, this is the one thing I'm excited the most about the EV tall market is the ability to use this as a, an air ambulance, for example. We know in, in crowded places, cities and everything, ambulances have a hard time going through traffic just because of, well, the, the way the roads are designed. So this is a, a big chance for us to have something that's not a helicopter, something that's actually easier to use that can get from point A to point B and uh, transport people when they're in need. It looks like the aircraft was successfully test flown in July and that they are going to be taking pre-orders uh, for the air ambulance use side of things. So exciting. Not so exciting, a military jet crashed into a neighborhood in North Texas, that was on Sunday. Uh, both pilots were injured. Thankfully, they crashed on the house, but nobody was in the house. That's the thankfully part. Um, there was a T-45, so this is a Navy trainer aircraft, and uh, the cause is unknown at the moment. There are some videos online of people uh, seeing the, 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 the parachute, actually the aircraft crash, and then uh, the, the two pilots parachuting out of the aircraft. Always scary to see this kind of accidents, but thankfully nobody was killed in this event. The two pilots were injured, but uh, it looks like it was uh, non-threatening from what we read. Next thing this week is a new Airbus product, and this is not a large aircraft. This is actually an EV tall called the City Bus. Uh, this is a next generation aircraft. This is a remotely piloted aircraft. So this is a, it's a drone. So big drones that can carry four people that's gonna be remotely piloted. And um, zero emission, uh, a range of 50 miles, a cruising speed of 75 miles an hour. And they say it's a very low noise of uh, 70 decibels. So 70 decibels is really not all that bad during landing, during landing, which means that up in the air, it's probably a lot less than that. Uh, they're planning this for 2023. It's a really interesting design. It looks really, really slick if you see the images playing in the background right now. Um, again, very interesting to see that large companies like Airbus, uh, even United actually invested some money in the UTM world. Uh, it should tell you something that, uh, that they, they see that this is kind of the future of uh, what we're about to see. So uh, for once, I'm actually excited, like I said, to see these kind of designs just because of their capabilities and what they can do in the urban areas. So 
That's it. That's all I have for this week. I'll talk to you guys next week. And in the meantime, leave your comments, like, subscribe, do everything that you do. And then uh, we'll see you then.